Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of a legendary difficulty where we're still fighting the Pandorans. I don't know how long this game is going to continue but uh, given that we're at 80% and 20% is the mark I really really hope that this is not going to be an indication for how long the game actually is going to last but just basically says that we're far ahead of the curve. I don't know. We will get plenty of resources and a lot of positive impact if we help Anu here. Uh, but the attacking strength of 19 means there is very likely going to be a Skriller and quite a few others. So we got Steven here. Um, can't really give him anything other than a little bit more willpower if we wanted or some more hit points. I think we're okay. Mm. Overall, we're okay. I mean, a few explosives would make sense on him, but I think we're not having enough options there. We got Asian Cow, uh, that is, who's going to say for ignore pain uh, or return fire. We got uh, Kyle Keen Eye saves as well. Incy Vinci, shall we give the, them a little bit more? Uh, missiles potentially not we're okay like having those two missiles is good enough and that's two rounds worth of actions in terms of uh, Anthony he really has a very good uh, aim and is a good all-around character he's just requiring a little bit more investment and then we should be fine so great character so far. Backbiter with the spider drones. I think we can upgrade that a bit more. Spider drones helpful. Make sure that we're not losing our uh, well-earned characters. And I think we're going to use spider drone deployment pack here. Yes, please. Weak spot is good. Vanish is good. Even quick aim is good for him. I like the combination here. We Why didn't we give him a sniper, by the way? That would make so much sense. I think because he... Oh yeah, the he had assault uh, rifle proficiency and the accuracy bonus. Okay, yeah, now I do understand mid-range combat. Good, same ordeal here. Sniper helmet. Seems fine for me. Russell looks good. Just for double checking. 15 points. Close quarter weight or the weak spot? I think defensive ability first. And we're waiting to finally get the um, Psionic class. So, team looks good and ready. Let's go. All right, we landed. Holy moly. From the fire into the frying pan, it seems. We landed and we're in the middle of a big disaster. We got a couple of civilians here. Uh, where are the troops, though, that are support, uh, supposed to help us? Well, good. So. Whenever you're landing in the middle, my experience is spend time to make sure that you're getting into cover as soon as possible. Um. Seems there's no one back here, which already is a good starting point. Triple spiders right over there. And that could be, yep, an assault. Okay, cool. Moving back. This guy here seems like he's throwing poison worms. 
Um, could step up to here. Do we want that? I mean, that's rather a sniper position, don't you think? Taking cover here and then here. These guys can't uh, free other civilians, but I think they can scout for us. Got another alien over there. Look, I mean, we could go over here, right? Could stay here, but that is in the open. I need to take in Civinci, <clears throat> being the frontliner. Basically to there. And war cry. Okay. Moving a bit closer here. And definitely moving further over here. The reason is we only have one war cry and I want her to continuously uh, get a new willpower that way. We're block uh, blocking this line here. up here and we're just overwatching I can make a difference we could move over here And I think just from a strate strategic perspective, going one further so that the medic could help uh, them if they are in trouble, that would I'm be helpful. Overwatch. Good, in the meantime, we're trying to overwatch here. Cow. As much as I want to go over here, it seems like that's a bad idea. Love to get that assault. And there must be another operative somewhere here. But I just can't seem to find them. Let's make this happen. Moving up. Looking for an angle. Oh, that's good. See, what we need is <laughs> All I need a is lot a of armor penetration. <clears throat> okay, minus 30 armor. That's exactly what we need. Maybe I need to move Asian cow, not sure yet. Okay, the 
disciple here, the assault, does have a shotgun. And they do have a priest. Two people are dazed. Could have been worse. Could have been better. That was hurtful. Alright, poison worms. Lots and lots and lots of poison worms. But I think so far we're actually standing, relatively speaking, in a solid position. Oh, that might change now. Hmm, okay, well, we got a worm on top and quite a few enemies left and right and center. So first things first, Steve needs to go into cover. Can we mind control these guys? We could, right? Yeah, we could. Okay, that's a lot of armor. We first of all need to deal with the armor. <clears throat> and with his sonic head. Actually with a lot of things. So how do we get the armor off? Shake it, baby. I don't know if it's shake it baby, my dude. We're having a bit of a problem here. Mm. We're likely going to spend all of our points on this one. But the, vi uh, the siren here needs to be stripped of her armor. Fortunately, the first hit, anyone? which was supposed to really strip her naked, didn't work. Ready to engage. Again, not a hit. Yeah. This better work. That worm needs to die. Good, she's bleeding. The tail is disabled. That's a start. It's not great, but it is at least a start. Removing one of the worms and moving out of immediate mind control range. Now, moving the worm up here and showing her who's boss will help our case. She's not dead yet. 
not yet. Good. That's one hit. Lots of armor reduced. Two hits. Even more armor reduced. And I tell you what, we're just going all in on that guy. <clears throat> Standing by. <laughs> Moving to here. Hit everyone. Then moving to here. Our distraction moves over here. in the way can't hit all three <laughs> ah, it only killed the worm that's unfortunate online yeah. time to go for the head yeah. hope I don't miss Very nice. Uh, his head is split wide open. Now, Vanessa can't really overwatch or do anything, so might as well just last pull out. Couldn't kill everyone, uh, but but maybe that's not the worst idea. Very nice. Okay, that was important because it will give us momentum in the next turn. We're not going to lose a soldier due to um, mind control. And that was actually a really important find. Bit of a waste with the explosion, but the rest was okay. Disciples. Uh, 
You could have just used two shots instead of... <laughs> So much for our momentum that I was talking about. Now we're unfortunately poisoned. Yeah, we got hit very hard with that uh, scream. Let's hope we can kill the head uh, this turn so that there's not another one. He's reducing our action, uh, action points and we're reducing his, which is ah. hilarious if you think about it, right? Massive uh, utilization of war cry from our side. Okay, I think we need to maybe move out. Here in the open would be great, but we can't be inside of uh, the fog as well, so we're moving over here. Okay, back. Needed to take a small break, so we still have a couple of enemies that will be able to act, so question of the day is, what is the most important Reaction. Not taking a lot of damage, I would say. So that guy is down to 10 hit points, dead. Cool. Less damage. We still need to hit uh, the head. But like I said, less damage in this case means What's the plan? we're better off. We can let the poison take one more round are we dealing 500 damage in one turn maybe Oh, that was a good hit. Yeah. We need to prevent him from shouting again because that would be really, really bad. 250 to go. all of our actions here my biggest problem is can't reload the turret trying to fan out as much as we can he will die that's one shot potentially two shots and we deal 250 points of damage. What's needed? That loan is 240. 
that here would be 200 so I this think better work we can hit the head we could deal that amount of damage equally so we do have a problem down here what's our move Look, I mean, this would deal a lot of damage to him. I think we should focus, even if that means not being able to completely destroy the head. Target here. Should be still very much okay. That's cute. There we go. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. I'm trying to figure out how many of the others are still alive? I think the priest back here died. <laughs> Fanning out. Yeah, mostly to not again be shouted upon. Good hit, by the way. Unfortunately, not the head that has been hit. Oh, more poison on top of the roof. Ah, and more civilians taking damage. Start with the obvious. Everybody is getting uh, hit by the uh, by the shout. No more stupid shouting. Problem is we might panic because his mist uh, continues on and on and on. Very nice, very nice hit. Took longer than expected, and it took away the opportunity to kill the guy downstairs. Or we deal with what's on top of the roof. Yeah, no, that will not work. Should go for the abdomen. Now that better work. 
the biggest uh, threat is out of the way. Taking care of uh, the remaining armor. Okay, fantastic. Well, we know additional poison worms will come down. So we unfortunately need to give up our really nice position up there. Ready. healing moving up and another healing should have also <laughs> instilled frenzy one. just so everybody can move a bit further Good. Um, next up, we can't afford more worms, so that's our highest priority now. Oh, come on. There we go. Disable the leg, which means he can't really move as far as he would otherwise be able to. <clears throat> Moving. And then overwatch specifically around the worms. Got you covered. I'll try to stop them. And we're done. <coughs> No, you're not going to die. You've surfed as well, so you're moving out. We have a plan? I'm getting there. So, full flesh healing once again. Goes back into cover. Cool. Now we do have a problem. So we can no longer shout. What we can do though is put a decoy up. And this should kill, right? Yep, that should kill. Very good. <coughs> Reloading. On it. Mm. 
can't really smash the legs. Well, I could, but it wouldn't help much. Oh shit. Can't stop Let's shaking. Just get it over with. Good. Okay. That's not bad. <clears throat> I think given that uh, we need to retreat. Single salve, salvo rather, uh, would be good. I don't want to send any anywhere close to this guy when shit is going down. Further back with quite literally Ooh, everyone. This better work. Okay, that somehow did not connect. Vinci runs even a bit further. And let's try to deal as much damage as we can. I think I have not taken a shot. That was wasted. Okay, it was not wasted. Great. Uh, it buffered the second, the second one. Acquiring target. Gotcha. A little bit more damage, and I think I think we're all set. Skrilla might uh, take revenge on us. Maybe runs away. I don't know. these out because that worked phenomenal recovery here move up to there overwatch Providing overwatch Getting a few better angles. More Overwatch. I think we're okay for now. Of course, 
More Overwatch can't hurt. Open. Okay, well, that's a start. Be right there. Covering. <laughs> Don't want to be hit too hard. Yeah, that didn't work out. On position. to the top floor. Yeah, not in range for sh uh, for a shout, but that's okay. Receiving loud and clear. I'm on Overwatch. All right, end of turn. of an explosion here. Unfortunately he wasn't taking the bait. Good, he's fully disabled like Every single body part of uh, him is disabled. Heading out. Restoring your health. Just healing for the next mission. Okay, cool. It's interesting to see that the Skrillas are always um, sort of just running away. Whenever they are a little bit more injured or yeah, getting close to death, they are running away. I wonder if that has an actual impact on <clears throat> say the hives nearby. If a Skrilla dies on these missions, <clears throat> if the hive is just downgraded. It's a very interesting mechanic because none of the other aliens seem to have that sort of self-preservation mechanism built in. Panoran movement have failed to identify the origin. Well, it's a bit of a bummer, isn't it? <clears throat> we got a mission over here, this Grey Spirit, and a mission right here, 
antediluvian runes. I hate to say it, but I think the team needs to do these missions. In terms of trading, let's just get our reserves further filled up. New aircraft is available. Wait, 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 wait. We had uh, people in Phoenix Point. So that's actually where I would want them to start. Good, so we got that new aircraft, Manticore 8. Okay, and the idea was our long-term supportive Phoenix forces will need to go over. Uh, what are we going to do? Well, that's like a candy store. Rapid clearance or mind crush? Or mind control and panic on top. Uh, mind control or mind sense, also an option. <clears throat> Let's try mind crush. I haven't used that ability yet. It's great to see that we finally have a psyker on level 7. Born in the USA has a lot of abilities. And almost all of uh, these guys have now reached maximum level. Adrenaline Rush is a phenomenal ability as well. Need to spend so, uh, save some points for later as well. I'm just picking the high the highlight abilities, the ones that I know I will pick anyways. Good. So as I was saying before, we got rudely interrupted. Barbor here, the only operative that we've ever gotten uh, from someone else, and uh, Polina both will make their way over. We'll leave Birdie um, as a base defense. Uh, it has helped us tremendously in the past. So what I would want to do is your job is to actually move to here. And we have a small mission. I think we can deal with that. And afterwards, we really, really should be going to America. Personnel of TMA2 is ready for another mission. So let's move over here. And whilst we're manufacturing... Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot about that. I've put in a couple of items for manufacture. The first weapons, the first of those like ancient weapons are coming through. And I would also like another two probes. Good. Those manticores are fine. This manticore here is not loaded yet. So what we want is a new team. <coughs> a new team that's going to help us to defend the other region. So who is available? We got Psyker, yes please. Oh wait, we already have one person on the aircraft. And that would be a sniper. False fire, okay. One Psyker. This is an assault. 
this is a berserker and this is a heavy so that's a and this is a technician it's a good combination technician unfortunately doesn't have the xp yet um, but that's the same problem with the two uh, operatives that i've now put into manticore 8 Both of these together will definitely help. I mean, Manticore 8 doesn't really need to go uh, over to uh, Born in the USA yet because uh, the people from Born in the USA with Manticore 4, I know it's confusing, right? Um, this is the App Echo team. They were switching around with the Alpha team for now in order to protect that side here so what i really would want to do is let them meet up here and manticore 8 be slowly moving to there but before we do that we're we're going uh, through all of the havens uh, gray spirit as a mission on uh, Ulysses J Blake is thankful for the equipment we've retrieved for him a moment of uh, features soften what has this world become he signs a truly foreign world and we ourselves diminished but how does the old poem go though much is taken much abides and though we are not that strength which in the old days moved earth and heaven that which we are we are one equal temper of heroic hearts made weak by him and fate but strong in will to strive to seek to find to not yield uh, it's an interesting poem i suppose to keep you waiting any longer as the heaven needs me uh, there is a chance to seek uh, the West for an empire, but honestly, all I really want to go back is to Miami and enjoy a mojito while watching the sun rise over the ocean. I don't suppose the Phoenix Project can arrange that, huh? Well, we can't, buddy, but uh, we still thank you for your contribution, which is very meaningful. Thank you. Additionally... I would like to place this over here and then the question is where does the last bubble go I mean there's a bit of a issue with Japan theoretically places up there I tell you what, these things are cheap. Let's not penny pinch or getting the other uh, probes done. And I'm actually putting them over the regions, even if it is a small region. If we haven't scouted something out yet, I'll put them over. I still wonder what that is in particular. So I'll just scan it. I don't think that it'll be something, but you never know. Moving to antediluvian runes. Both of them. Moving out of here. We're going to do that mission. And... Yeah, this is, he's just flying there, so fair is fair. And this here was trading vessel all of Europe and then making our way up to here. So we still got one antediluvian rune here, and that's about it. Once uh, that uh, host is done, we're on our way to the United States, where there are two further antediluvian ruins. Now, let's deploy our prime team 
right here and there is a bit of a change not much but a tiny bit Ian the Butcher owns has I think a new toy available and I wanted to showcase that to you because pretty sure we have built the weapon upgrade oh yeah there it is look at that isn't that beautiful just not clear why it isn't showing up so As I was saying, we do have the Maddox of the Ancients now. Great, great equipment. Really like it. And that would deal not only 220 points of damage, but uh, with Brawler and uh, Close Quarter Specialist, that's even more. So I would be expecting hits of 300 to come in. We're also maximizing speed, which means He's really maximized now. He can't go any faster than that. Uh, we could go a little bit further into hit points next. Willpower isn't uh, uh, is important as well, but he I think has 18 or so willpower. Now we had, um, if my memory serves me well, uh, created another unique weapon. The grenade launcher. I might have been wrong. No, the other two are still in production because the drones were, uh, the uh, probes were happening first. But yeah, we are going to get that ancient grenade launcher and we'll take good care of that as well. Good, so that's one. And I think we had another open part here just getting all of the small um, cracks uh, scouted out scanned out so Ian should really work well let's look at the others Jarangs could use more willpower of course could also use more speed uh, to be honest that uh, is one of my main concerns because he needs to <clears throat> keep pace with the butcher hey we're starting with uh, speed and we're that go then going into a willpower going forward butcher we already uh, work with him JP Pauli just waiting for those final abilities really but in order to pull them off he will need willpower and a lot of willpower so two more willpower would be handy for him Rel has the option for melee um, attacks. Definitely the MG is, is a fantastic option for her. She's still a little bit slow and her willpower is comparably speaking weak. So we could uh, work on that. Alternatively, we could give her PDWs. Uh, as a means to shoot something per default with one uh, with one AP. The other option is Boom Blast. That way if we give her a grenade launcher she would do very well. Speaking about which I think Yeah, she could carry the alien grenade launcher with uh, adrenaline rush that would be good 
those extra will points might come in handy but then again she also needs more will power uh, to begin with so let's start with more willpower that's never a bad investment Euler just overall good needs more willpower as a sniper there we go inappropriate Murphy could require more speed because he's the only one who's not regularly hasted so making him faster is a good idea and then we do have Dilly G more willpower means more cool actions and Shattered Realm where I think the name of the game is more speed than anything I'll even invest a couple of points into him good the A team is great I like them I like them a lot let's deploy the squad and get going all right, quite a long-winded episode, which means now we are ending this one and uh, I will play the mission in the next episode. I just noticed we're almost over an hour and I don't want to have those two-hour ginormous missions. Anyways, have a good one, guys. If you feel like the defense was worth a like, then I would appreciate it. Elsewise, see you in the next episode in two days. Bye-bye.